Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to talk about APIN or Blue Apron Holdings. We'll look at the most updated short interest, the latest news and what to expect for the next couple of weeks. Because I do think the stock has some massive upside potential. But before we continue please make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy the content and want more videos on APIN well then make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So first let's take a look at the most updated short interest here from Shortside. And yes it's updated daily and as you can see here nearly 51% of the public float is sold short which is quite a lot and it actually makes APIN or Blue Apron Holdings the most short stock in the entire US stock market. So we have a ton of short sellers but is this actually a short squeeze play? Well we certainly have enough short interest that's for sure but we need a huge catalyst to trigger the short squeeze and we do in fact have a pretty huge potential catalyst coming up soon. As you can see here APIN is considering share buybacks worth up to 25 million dollars which equals around 4 million shares at the current stock price of $6.71. But you might still think to yourself, well, why does it matter? The market cap of the company is $233 million. Why will it matter that APN is going to do a share buyback program worth $25 million? Well, to explain that, we need to look at the public float and the short interest once again. And as you can see, the current public float of APN is only 7.34 million shares. The short interest is sitting at 3.74 million shares. And they will be buying up 3.72 million shares if they're actually going to do this buyback program, which of course will impact the public float and a new public float would only be 3.62 million shares which of course will have a massive effect on the short interest in percentage and as you can see down here the short interest would hit 103 percent which means that more than 100 percent of the entire public float would be sold short if APN is going to do this buyback program and it would be the first time we are going to see this since the GameStop squeeze so it's pretty huge in my opinion and we could see a massive massive move to the upside as you can see here APN is still trading way below the 52 Two week highs of $12.76. So I think we have some massive, massive potential here, but we need to look out for the resistance areas above. So the first resistance area is up here around $7 a share, and I think it's going to be tough to break out of this resistance area. But once we do so, well, the next resistance area is up here at around $8.50, and from here, the next resistance area is up here at $12.50. And if we can manage to break out of this resistance area up here, which I actually think is realistic, but well, then we could see a massive, massive move and potentially a short squeeze all the way up to like $50 a share. But again, it is a risky stock and we need to be careful. Not a lot of people knows about this stock yet and a lot of stuff could go wrong, especially if APN is not going to do this buyback program. Well then, of course, we're not going to see a short squeeze. We need to see this buyback program happening. And once APN has confirmed this buyback program, well then I think we're going to see a massive move once the news is released. So for the next couple of weeks, I think we're going to see APIN moving higher. I think we could easily see a break above this resistance area up here at $8.50, even if you're not going to see the news of a buyback program. But that's everything for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Oh, shit, I almost forgot it. But as you can see here, uh, the cost of borrow fees is also sitting at nearly 30%, which means that the short sellers would have to pay an annual fee of nearly 30% just to be short an APIN, which of course is a bit risky. And that's only 7,000 shares available to short as of today. So that's everything for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button.